Blessed be the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord, tonight once again, Lord Jesus. We give you glory, we give you glory, we give you glory. Our glory, honor, and adoration be to your name, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, bless your holy name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the blessings of going out and coming in. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Mr. Jesus. We say glory be to your name, Lord Jesus. Glory be to your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord King of King, Lord of Lord, mighty Lord. The great I am who was and that is to come. No one like you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Someone that everyone has sinned against you, Lord Jesus. Forgive us and cleanse us, Lord, from all our righteousness. For all our righteousness. Both the willing sin and unwilling sin. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray.
of his love. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As I'm just saying this, what was turning my face is Isaiah 43. For I love you. I give people for your instead. I give people for your instead. I 
capable for this time. Right. That is, I've been saying this, is, I'll keep saying it. For those who want to be wise, they should listen. Even though the way, by the rest of the way I am, uh, I live very distant. I'm not boasting, but I know I'm searching in, in the eyes of God. I am dangerous. I can sound and be so distant, but I know I'm dangerous. And I pray for those who have been trying whatever they are trying against me. Please stop. Stop. Yield yourself to the Lord. And whatever anger you have against me, go to your God, your Maker. He will sort you out. Please, if you're just trying to dig beat and try every wickedness you, you think you can to destroy or to stop the plan of God and will of God for my life, you cause yourself more harm than ever. Please, in the name of Jesus. The assurance and assurity that the enemy is giving you is just falsehood. It's just liar. All those things, they don't, can't hold in the name of Jesus. They can't hold. And no matter whatever that is happening in my life, God, no, I, know where my, I know where my root is. And no matter whatever distraction and all that, I know where my root is. Please, save yourself a lot of um, things, a lot of stress by trusting in God and departing from wickedness and uh, this monitoring and uh, trying everything you can uh, so that the God of heaven can listen to you and uh, bless you in the name of you. So you can have some 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 peace within you and of course one thing that this enemy gives gives us as we be here on earth is unnecessary burden envy jealousy wickedness and the more you are showing those wickedness the most you are doing those evil you discover something in your life you are the one that is suffering more seriously you are the one suffering more than, than any other thing. You are the one suffering more. Ah, dear. Because what the one the line that the enemy tells all of us in this life is that we are mm, that you can do this if we can do that, if we can do this, you can do that. That you have the power or how dare this person do this or that. You can. But unfortunately, imagine all the time that the Lord was warning Pharaoh. Stop what again you want to do. Stop, 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 stop. Or for if you to stop. He told you I have the power. Oh, these guys are under me. Oh, I can go in and do anything. I can control them. I can give them more burden. The more they are talking. I can give them more burden. I can increase their pains. I can do more evil against them. But the more they are doing, but they refuse to realize that he's the one that is suffering. Because a lot of destruction that he was causing to his own self. But unfortunately, Satan, you know, block his eyes so he cannot see the truth. The same thing that happens to us when we decide to walk in the path of uh, wickedness and uh, and, and on God, you know, wickedness against our fellow human beings. We don't see that we are the ones that are suffering until we end ourselves up like Pharaoh, like, 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 like Saul. May God help us in the name of the night but for those that any have given us we can pour them of 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 if the Lord will deliver them all in the name of Jesus. Deliver, deliver us, deliver in the name of Jesus, so that we will not get to a stage of no return. So we will not get to that stage of no return. Hallelujah. So what can ask me a state of no return? A state of no return is when you have dug a pit. Where that you are the one only that must enter that pit. When you have plotted evil against your fellow human being, and you are the only one that will enter into it. And, uh, you see the, the the death that was planned against Mordecai, the the danger of that pit, he, he, you know, he, he got to a place of no return. The same thing with Saul, the same thing with uh, 
you know, with uh, with <coughs> with Pharaoh, he got to a place of no return. The innocent people were going on their own. Mm. He gathered the children of uh, 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 Egypt, gathered them. Say, Let's pursue them and and, and he got himself and and end up wasting his life. My brother, my sister, please fear the Lord. Hallelujah. Even if you refuse to fear him, but just look at the history of the God that's going in your life. All the disappointment and all the investment and all the or all the evil the enemy have caused in your life that he refused you to understand or to know. But just look back in the name of Jesus. So that you can save yourself a lot of a lot of a lot of stress in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because by the grace of God, in our in our we we do everything as far as uh, uh, God knows our hearts. I will do everything as, as 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 much as possible to make sure that we balance we balance the book. We we'll try everything to live at peace with everyone. But don't take according to Paul. He said, "Don't take our our peace or our humility or our simplicity for granted." If you are taking it for granted, why we are making it for peace? And you are taking it for granted. Unfortunately, you are the one who will end up losing. May God deliver us in the name of Jesus. And because yesterday I, I I I traveled, I went to a single journey that is almost uh, one or something miles. You know, in the process of that journey, the kind of things that happen on my journey is just obvious what is happening. And it was obvious of what? Very, very obvious. Of the plan and the plot and the network of wickedness against my life. Repent in the name of Jesus. I will not say more than that. Repent in the name of Jesus. Repent, repent in the name of Jesus. So you will not get yourself wasted in the name of Jesus. So your loved ones will not look no for you, self for you, they will not see you in the name of Jesus. Because see. I am one of those people in this in this in this life that when you throw evil arrow, that arrow will go back to you. If you throw evil arrow of death, that evil arrow will definitely go back to you. So if you have tried it and keep trying it, unfortunately, it, it's still hanging. The mercy of God is still holding it. it, it it is still holding it. The one you repent, that the Lord by his mercy will destroy it. But if you refuse to repent, that arrow of death will end up landing on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A warning is a enough for wise. Because I don't want to cry. I want to follow my brothers and sisters, including my enemies, to rejoice. When my enemy just like a prodigal son. Was if was an enemy to his father, but his father ended up joy because he repented. His father, his father, the prodigal son was an enemy to his father, but that he, his enemy now joined to, to rejoice because he repented. I'm that kind of person, full, full, full of my heart is so clean by the grace of God. Hallelujah. So we can join you to repent. So we can join you to repent. Me, jo sorry, me, me joining you to rejoice. Me joining my enemy to rejoice is this. Listen to very, very carefully. I'm joining my enemy to rejoice, and and to say and and to say and to say woe, woe to you, Satan, that you decide to destroy this fellow that Jesus Christ shed His blood for. But now, by the grace of God, the Lord through His mercy have saved him. Because they are my brothers. Even though they are my enemy, they start to be my enemy now. They are my brothers. They are my sisters. I'm so glad if they can turn so we can join together to see the big victory. Hallelujah. From the grip of death, the grip of Satan in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus that will be our portions in the name of Jesus. That whatever the evil and the plot that enemy has planned to destroy our lives, 
in the name of Jesus. He will be the one losing big time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Tonight, Bible study, I, I have not seen, probably I have to check my system to see if there is any mini message that have come. If no message, that means what we are doing, people are getting it. That is our own assumption. But I always, I don't like to be assuming, I want to be, I want to everything that I do. Clarity and straightforward and understanding and don't like to give room for assumption at all and that's the reason I, sometimes I look as if one explained himself too much or trying to be too open it's better to be open than uh, than to allow assumption to ruin our lives <laughs> God deliver us in Jesus name now Galatians chapter 3. That's going to be our major scripture hallelujah, for this week, a Bible study. And as we go through that scripture, I pray the Lord by His grace will open our eyes tonight in the name of Jesus to the truth that will set us free forever in the name of Jesus. Galatians chapter 3 from verse 1 to 8. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, there's something about this life. When you try to make peace, uh, want to try to be, people always take it for granted. They try to be at the part of uh, straightforwardness and the uh, simple for peace to reign people take it oh this one is foolish i'm not foolish for things to be distant we are not foolish hardly be at the side of peace doesn't mean one is foolish i pray god will help us in jesus name amen we are part of uh, that doesn't mean one is foolish at all. Tonight you are dealing on the put on new self. Put it on new self. Put on the new self. You know, as we know, the Bible says that if you have given your life to Jesus Christ, you're a new creature. That new creature, you're a new creature. All things have passed away. All things have become new. All things passed away. That new. The newness, the newness, which is deeply rooted in what? In love. New self that deeply rooted what? In love. And I pray in the name of Jesus that the love of Christ will shed and brought in our heart in the name of Jesus. That will be that the Lord has prepared us to be in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, I just want us to go straight now to read. Before we read, let us say, I call myself with the blood of Jesus, my environment with the blood of Jesus. All my viewers with the blood of Jesus, the environment in the blood of Jesus, the spirit soul with the blood of Jesus. Every weapon of this eternal destruction. That have been programmed against our lives, against our destiny. We declare those programs of wickedness to be scattered and be destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus. You lose your hold in the name of Jesus. You lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Every wickedness being planted inside your body. Every wickedness being planted inside your body. Hallelujah. Every wickedness being planted inside your body. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. And be destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Lose your hold. Every can be planted inside your body. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. And be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lose your hold. In the name of Jesus. My son, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. 
Father, those wickedness, the assignment they're supposed to be carried out and what they're supposed to do, they will not be able to fulfill it in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, the wickedness, enemy can plan wickedness in your body. And cause that hand, cause that leg, cause that uh, eyes, cause that part of your body not to be responding or not be responsive or not to be corresponding. Not like you having a, a, some part of your body fighting against you. <laughs> You have your part of your body fighting against you. And it's still part of your body, but it's fighting against you. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. It's not that your body is fighting against you. What has happened is that there's a, there's a, a wicked implantation, witchcraft activities. Implantation into your system that is actually being like a demonic hand in your system controlling and i pray in the name of jesus whatever it is you have come into your life whether through food or whatever it might be will cause them to destroy to be destroyed in the name of jesus we use the power and the blood of jesus and the fire of the holy ghost to wash and to burn them to ashes in the name of your Lord. to command them to lose their hold and their grip over your life in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we pray, no weapon form against us shall prosper. Every time I rise up against us in judgment, to decree and declare, we are condemned by the power in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And that's the reason why it's very essential that every time we soak our spirit, soak our body, soak our body, everything in us in the blood of Jesus. Very important. So that's what this may be happening. Don't really understand. Hallelujah. You so start to seek, to start looking for understanding. You start praying more to prevent prayers and asking the Lord. That is why it's always good we pray. Hallelujah. Because in the process, even for you, you don't know, sometimes the Spirit of God, you will start praying against those things without you even knowing what the, the enemy has done or is doing. And I pray that Lord will help us and Lord to be alert in the Spirit at all times in the name of Jesus. Now we're going to start right away. Uh, Colossians chapter 34, verse 1 to end. Our first four play, then gradually we start um, excavating. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Chapter 3 If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming. In these you too once walked when you were living in them. But now you must put them all away, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and obscene talk from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old self with its practices, and have put on the new self which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. Here there is not Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on, then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these, put... As the Lord has forgiven us, so must we. It's not so we may, this is must, His command. You must forgive, you must forgive. 
as the Lord has forgiven, so you must forgive. Hallelujah. You know, just like I keep saying to us, you know, sometimes, you know, like those who truly trust in the Lord Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior, you know, so that they go a kind of extra mile, forgiving their enemy, doing something, but some, some, some Christians, so much time they're against it. So why should you be forgiving your, your enemy? And you know, when they have done something good, they, they spoke, even the Bible itself said that it should be, you know, the Bible rejoice when God rejoice when his enemy. No, it's not, he don't really, really rejoice. Hallelujah. It, it's not his will for any of us to perish. It's not his will for any, more, any of us to perish. Even the thing the Lord you know, revealed to John in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the book of Revelation, you know, his enemy being judged and all that, it's not God, it's not his will. It's not his will. But, but those, so, sometimes those things have, just have to happen. And they have to put an end to wickedness of the wicked. Even though he is not putting them, you know, putting them, putting them off. You know, and, and being joyful or being and happy, happy about it. No, it's not. Hallelujah. Because remember, the word of God said that even if it's only one person who was left in this world, Jesus Christ will still come to die. He said he, he, he came. He, he came for the Jews, not only Jews, for the whole wide world, for everyone, for everyone. Even though he's going to judge his enemy, it's not judging his enemy. You know, being proud or unhappy or feeling or for the his enemy not you know accepting the truth and decide there you know he's not happy he's not happy about that how it just that it just that some things just have to happen because it, it will not be fair to those who have tried to live a righteous life and they try to live or try to do what is right. And the, and the and the and the enemy continue their wickedness, stopping them and the, you know, stopping their peace. And the Lord just sit down there and be watching. You know, he can just only give them opportunity to repent for, for a while because he lost every he loves everybody. When the time will come, since the enemy has decided to go that way, okay, since you want to, you, you see you you see life and death, you decided to choose death. Okay, then now continue your death. You know, let me help you further. So you don't continue to disturb this one that had decided to sacrifice love, that had decided to you know you know be in the path of forgiveness, that decided to be in the path earlier of of patient and kindness. You have decided to be in the path of meekness earlier. Enough of your troubling, you know, troubling this for this one's life. Leave them alone and go your your path. In the name because to your way is supposed not to be a part. And since I tried, since the Lord has tried, all is can, all he can in order to draw your attention to your evil, to your wickedness, I refuse to turn. Okay, that, therefore perish in your way. May God help us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus that we see that light, we see that 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 part of truth. In the name of Jesus, uh, and follow it. In the name of Jesus, God, the Lord have already told us that so many. There's a way that seems right to man. There's a way that seems right to man. Like these days, you know, this is the age. I mean, the, the 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 age of money. Money is ruling. People are doing so many things to get money by fire by force. A lot of people are going to. They are killing. They are getting to so many evil. So many, so many evil, so many evil. Hallelujah. People are doing so many. You will not believe the, man, the amount of wickedness that are around you. The amount of evil things that are happening around you. You cannot, you will not believe. If the Lord begins to open your eyes to see some of these things. Hallelujah. And I pray in the name of you, no matter whatever being plot and planned against you, against us, in the name of Jesus, we are delivered and we are delivered by the power in the blood of Jesus. Enemy will not succeed in our lives in the name of Jesus. And we'll continue our reading. On love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony, played against another, forgiving each other. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these, put on love, 
which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Wives, submit to your husbands as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. Bond servants, obey in everything those who are your earthly masters, not by way of eye service as people pleasers, but with sincerity of heart, fearing the Lord. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. For the wrongdoer will be paid back for the wrong he has done, and there is no partiality. No partiality for the wrongdoer to repay. Right, now let's just go back now. We've read to what have been read. How they say put on the new put on the new self. Put on the new self. Have you? He said from verse 6 that if you have been raised with Christ, I think let's use another script, another translation so it can be more more down to earth. Hardly. Another translation here says, since you were raised from the dead with Christ. Aim at what is in heaven. And I remember, you know, the yeah, 622, 622 uh, Matthew, Matthew 622. Uh, yeah, it talks about, you know, seeking faith the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And every other thing shall be added on to you. Seek faith the kingdom, seek faith the kingdom, seek the faith the kingdom. Hallelujah. It say here we should aim at what is in heaven. Seek faith the kingdom. Aim at what is in him, first the kingdom where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Hallelujah. Think only about the things in the heaven. Hallelujah. The things in the heaven here, you know, okay, let's just go on. Not the things on earth. You, Hallelujah. He said, Your old sinful self. Your own sinful self has died, and your new life is kept with Christ. And I pray in the name of you that our, that our own sinful self are totally dead in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That hatred, that 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 evil not, that evil, you know, accumulation of of of, of anger in, in us, in the name of Jesus, to die. The name of you that stubbornness in all should die in the name of Jesus. You are all sinful, let it die, let it die, let it not mix up with our new self in the name of Jesus. Because when the old self mix up with the new self, it makes us become deadly, become dead. When you say deadly, deadly, when the old self and the new self mix up together, it makes us become more hardened more even wicked than, than the unbelievers. I know what I'm talking about. Makes us to be more, you know, God have mercy. If God reveal to you, you, you what I'm seeing here, God, God have mercy. What our old, old nature and our, our new nature meet together, let me tell you something here. Either I believe it or not. Witches and wizards, they are even more better than you. Those who do wickedness in the heart, they are better than you. 
because now they see the old they, I mean the old life. They don't want to miss up. They prefer to be where they belong. They see how they kind of a level of a fear of God in them. They have a fear of God in them. I have been in a place you tell someone they come when the place of evangelism they tell, come come to church. No, say please leave me. I want to enjoy myself first. After enjoying myself, then when I decide that I cannot repent, they are, they are sincere. They don't want to be deceivers. They don't want to be two-faced. They don't want to be two-faced. That's the reason why, you know, God hates falsehood. Now, you're presenting yourself to be an, a, 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 a man of God. Whereas, you are just, you are just, you can do everything that the unbeliever out there is doing. Those who do rituals, you can do rituals. Those who do, you know, omelets of evil, they, you can do, you are perfect in all of them. If you now talk about speaking in tongues, fasting and prayer, then you are perfect. If you talk about preaching or talking about God, you have, you know God in every area. You can even speak in tongues and prophesy, you can do everything. If you come to so on Sundays, you are you the first person to, to be in church clean everywhere. If you come to weekends too, you'll be the first person who they will know. When Satan is looking for an agent to send, they you see you, you are the first in be appointed. When those who are blind in the Christ, in, 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 I mean in the things of, of, of God are looking for someone. You know, to send to mission field, you they will pick you because you know everything. You are more wicked than than the dedicated agent of Satan. You are more cruel and more dangerous than the dedicated you know agent of Satan. May God help us in Jesus' name. Did you ever hear any place in the Bible where the Lord said that? Uh, you know that I, that I will that I will vomit, I will I will spit you out of my mouth. Those who are let me say the evil ones. You want us about being hot or cold? For those who are not hot or cold, they are they, they know the truth. They decide to continue their evil way. May God help us in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus, all those kind of falsehood and lies and deception that we have uh, within the years that allow to start getting root in our lives. I pray in the name of Jesus, by the power and the blood of Jesus, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, that progressive downwards, in that wickedness, in that wicked ways, I command in the name of Jesus, let the mercy of God, let the mercy of God, let the mercy of God, Begin to touch stop in the name of you. May we begin to review our life. I mean to come out in the name of Jesus from all manners of force, from all manners of lies, from all manners matter of wickedness. In the name of you, may we, you know, begin to present and, and be that we say that we are. In the name of Jesus. See your all sinful. Self has died, it's supposed to be totally dead. Then now our new lives is kept with Jesus Christ in God. Then Christ is your life, and when He comes again, He will share His glory. Hallelujah! You will share His glory. You will share His glory. Hallelujah. So put on, so put all evil things out of your life. Sexual sinning, doing evil, letting evil thoughts control you, wanting things that are evil and greed. This is really serving a false God. These things 
make God angry. In your past, evil life you also did. In your evil life you also did, did these things. But now also put these things out of your life. Anger, bad temper, doing or saying things, saying things to hurt others and using evil words when you talk. Do not lie to each other. You have left your old sinful life and the, and the things you did before. Leave them and never go back to them. We see that grace in the name of Jesus. See, you have begun to live, you have begun to live the go to live the new life in which you are being made new and are becoming like the one who made you have the which is God. This new life brings you the truth, the true knowledge of God. In the new life, there is no difference between Greek and Jew. No partiality. No difference between Greek and Jew who are circumcised and those who are not circumcised or people who are foreigners or the this there is no difference between slaves and free people but Christ is in all Christ is in all believers and Christ is all that is important hallelujah God has made sorry God has chosen you and made you his holy, holy people. Then he loves you. So you should always clothe yourself with mercy. The Lord loves you. He has chosen you. Then therefore clothe yourself with, with mercy. In the name of your kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bearing with 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 each other and forgive each other if someone does wrong to you forgive that person because the lord forgave you even more than all this clothe yourself in love clothe yourself in love love is what holds you all together in perfect unity love hold us together in perfect unity and then let the peace that Christ gives control your thinking because you were all called together in one body to have peace always be thankful let the teaching of Christ lives in you richly use all wisdom to teach and instruct each other by singing, singing, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with thanks given in your heart to God. Hallelujah. As you may know, singing songs, psalms, you know, spiritual songs, and all that is very, very powerful too. As a believer, a powerful tool that draws strength, a powerful tool that draws the heart of, of, of compassion and draw the and, and call the God of judgment and, the, and, and, and bring and bring healing faster than ever. And, the, and I pray in the name of you, the Lord will reveal to us the mysteries behind mysteries behind songs. Mystery behind some mystery behind spiritual songs, very very powerful. May God open our eyes more in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Sometimes you know it's very very wise for us sometimes to ponder 
about the heaven. Because that was the morning and night. The songs upon songs, songs upon songs in heaven. Hallelujah. The angel kept singing day and night. They will never stop singing. Because the positive vibes they are releasing in heaven is what makes heaven to be what it is. A place of forever rejoicing. And therefore we can start creating our own heaven from down here on earth. How when we when we when we discover the mystery behind you know singing spiritual songs and spiritual hymns and the psalms, you know, making melody in our hearts. How they because the true the, the true believer who who participate in this very in this very you know activities sincerely from the truth of their heart, they always stay forever triumphant over whatever situation that comes over their I mean their lives. They always stay on top. They always stay on top. Remember the word of God said one of the places they they they, they meet us and said. The joy of the Lord. That joy of the Lord comes from what? Singing songs. Singing hymns. Singing spiritual songs. Giving, making the Lord in our hearts. He said the joy of the Lord is what? Yeah. The joy of the Lord is my strength. That means without the joy, without those songs, without your heart being happy, being married, before the throne of God, you know, appreciating God, you know, remembering the thing that he has done. That means you don't have strength. The enemy is definitely going to replace it with mourning. Complain. Hallelujah. Remember the Lord said at, at all times we should always give thanks. And when we think things are, are good, when things are not good, we should always what? give thanks. Very, very important that you don't allow the enemy to make us to begin to see the negative that is happening in our lives. And be able to give in the same time glory and praise Him unknowingly. Because when we are mourning, when we are complaining, when we are full of bitterness and all that, you are praising the enemy. Because He's happy. That is exactly what you want to see. That's the reason why those, those disappointments, you know, He makes you to focus more on those disappointments. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Let's see those disappointments and as a test. To prove if you truly love the Lord, if you're truly, you know, practicing the thing the Lord has been teaching you, the thing, the 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 how the, the, the Bible that you've been reading, those songs that you have been singing, if you are truly, if you are truly practicing, if you are truly, you know, singing singing those songs from deep down our hearts, align those songs, you know, Hallelujah, Mark Kapire, in the name of Jesus. But when those trials comes. It's like, you know, testing us to see if we will be singing these songs in the spirit. If we giving, if if we have been, you know, giving those, 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 those spiritual songs. If you have been actually singing those songs in the spirit. If those, those songs are coming from deep down our, you know, our spirit man. Hallelujah. Those thanksgiving, those appreciation, are they coming from deep down your spirit? Because if they do, they will release the strength that is capable of quenching no matter whatever the enemy throws at us. Because you have the strength. Because the joy has produced the strength to be able to weather, weather, weather any kind of storm, any kind of evil weather be released against us. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Pray may the Lord always open our eyes to appreciate the God of heaven in every situation in our lives. Hallelujah. To always appreciate the Lord. Even when we don't understand, even when we have tried everything in order to make sure that things work perfectly and we end up failing or we end up not meeting up, you know, the standard. That should not make us to stop, you know, singing or to stop rejoicing. Seeing the from the depth down our heart, deep down our hearts, 
we we meant good. We have not sit down to plan that evil to happen. Yes, we have not sit down to plan that evil to happen. Hallelujah. That that situation, the Lord understand very well. It's only when we decide to be committing sin and enjoying that sin and stay there without even you know any kind of remorse or, or asking God to forgive us. And that's when we can, you know. That is when we already you know destroy and already doomed for destruction. May the Lord renew our hearts and our minds in the name of Jesus. May we see reason to always give to God thanks in every area, in everything in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, everything you do or say should be done to obey Jesus, our Lord. And in all, and I say, and in all you do, in all you do, give thanks to God, the Father, through Jesus. How do you? And I say here, uh, further down, verse 18. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It talks about now, wife, say, wife, yield to the authority of your husband because he is the right thing. He is the right thing to do. That is the right thing to do. Yield, yield to the authority of your husband because that is the right thing to do. Hallelujah. You know, these days I begin to see that actually that this scripture is true. A lot of a few, late, few ladies today. The Lord, very, very young girls for that for for just um, you know, very, very young ladies, very, very young ladies, and the Lord had made them to be so mature, mature than most of our great and great and great grandmothers. May God help us in Jesus' name. That means maturity is not really, not really of age. Age is not maturity. Maturity is from the mind. It's thing of the mind. You know, you know, when the young people see this clearly and with with a pure understanding, okay, with with a better understanding, that, that brings what maturity because they can they look at those words, they look at the circumstances, they try to you know have that heart of making things to work, have that positive heart to make things to work. They will be able to you know see deeply. In those situations, but when we don't, we just want to brush everything under the carpet. That means you can be hundred years and you still think that like someone who is who is just a, a child. Now you may be a child, then you put your thoughts, you put your mind into things. Then you begin to reason like someone who is already you know hundred years or fifty years or thereabouts. Hi then I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will help our young girls, our young women of these days, in the name of Jesus. That ability to, to look deeply, to, to look with the eyes of maturity into the situation that is facing them, facing this world today, in the name of Jesus. He said, wives, ye to the authority of your, of your husband, honey, because this is the right thing to do in the Lord. This is the right thing to do in the Lord. You need to the authority of your husband. This is the right thing to do in the Lord. Hallelujah. I know some of the women today that the Lord is using now to bring some of these truths. Some all those ones who doesn't really understand we will be mocking them. Oh, stay there. Continue. You will see how you're going to end up. You can never end up well because you are honoring that man. Probably because they have a he kind of have some negative experience with, with some men, and because of that, they feel okay. That's the way you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you know, treat men like rubbish, treat them, treat them like trash. They are just insult them and put them where they are because of what they have done, because of your experience. Then look at those experiences that you went through. Other persons have gone worse than that and still have a happy home. Then, now who is the problem? 
is the way it, you allow those situations. That's, that's the problem. The way you allow your heart to go in, in, the, in those, in those situations. Because you, you refuse patience to, to rule. You refuse, you know, you refuse, you refuse endurance. You refuse true love to take its place. Hallelujah. Because love will always make you to, you know, honor one another. Love will always be true love. The true love. Bible says that love bears all things. Love God extra mind. Hallelujah. Love is greater than prophecy. Love is greater than what? Love is greater than, 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 than sacrifices. Love is greater than all this. Love is greater than gold, than silver, than jewelry, than, than riches, than money. Love is greater. May God help us in the name of Jesus. That is why Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary because of what? Love. It did not come to the world because of our money or because of what we have or because of the treasure of our gold and our silver. They came just so that he can establish a relationship between us and him. And the process of that relationship so that our eyes can be open to the deception and to the lies that we have been told. So that we can be delivered. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Because truth set free. Truth destroy yokes. Truth destroy bondages. With truth, you can see a, a city or a community, you know, triumph. You can see progress. You can see, you know, prosperity in a community where there is truth. But where there is no truth, what can you see? Always war, 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 war. Deception upon deception. People begin to compromise the, 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 the um, what the Lord have created. People will begin to go, you know, you know, Go away from the way of, of God. And we draw like the, the book of uh, Romans, chapter 1, towards the ending. He said, For the men have, have, have refused the, relation, the relationship between their fellow and the women. Now, 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 now they, 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 they fell, they fell, they, 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 they started loving themselves. Men start loving men and women start loving women. That is the book of the book of uh, the, uh, the book of uh, Roman chapter chapter one. And we're supposed not to be, but God help us in the name of Jesus. He say, say we begin to hate ourselves. You mean to you know because when you are hating your fellow man, what are you actually doing? You are shooting yourself on your own foot. It's yourself you are doing when you are hating, when you hate one of your brothers. And there. Because hatred will make you to be mean to one another. Then you forget that you may need that your brother that you are mean or you are doing wickedness against in the future. Or very soon. May God help us in the name of Jesus. It's always good to be one another. So you can open that door at any time, at any time. We want to assess that door of help. We want to assess that door of mercy. We want to assess that door. Hallelujah. So that we don't use our own hand and we're closing our own lives and closing our own destiny and causing ourselves undue pain and undue, you know. Hallelujah. Just like recently, you know, my, my heart, there are some things that came on. You know, I was, even my heart was just going, the way my heart was going. How to help this person, help that one, help that one, help that one. Bring this one into business, bring that one, bring this one, bring that, just calculating, picking them here and there. What they want from my biological, you know, relation and those who are not, who, are, who, are, who I don't even know, but I just made them all, you know, as, through association. I start thinking about how to invest and help them. Then that's supposed to be. Now, when we have that kind of mind, imagine when brothers and sisters and 
community living together in harmony in that kind of thinking good about about one another what happens here light progress you will not see those who you not see someone just falling in or you know start seeing negative things happening in our lives because everybody's thinking well even if you are not doing what that thing you are thinking because of that positive energy you are you are releasing for that brother and sister things will begin to go well for that person it is releasing that positive energy for to us hallelujah this is why we say what every negative imagination cast them down don't allow the negative imagination to stand because when i imagine good things for my brother they say good things let it stand but if it's evil, let it not work. Stand. That means negative imagination has power. And it can affect the life of those that you are taking those negative things for. And I pray in the name of Jesus that we see it very, very important. I mean to think, you know, good things about your your, your spouse, your children, your community, our leaders. I mean to think good things about them. Then if any power or any, anyone anywhere, you know, planning or plotting evil against you, it cannot uh, happen because you have already protected yourself. You have already, you know, protected yourself with those uh, the positive energy that you have been releasing in the name of Jesus. Very, very important in life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And before we commit the next scripture, I just want to spread this prayer. God of mercy, God of mercy, have mercy on marriages in the name of Jesus. Let that demon that be released against marriages in the name of Jesus be bound, bind, you bind them and cast them. You will destroy their plot and their evil program against our loved ones. In the name of against our world, against our community, in the name of let there be unity, let there be unity in homes, in the name of you, let there be unity in home between parents and children, in the name of Jesus, in the name of you, let there be unity, let there be unity in homes, in the name of Jesus, between parents and children, in the name of Jesus, between parents, parents and their children, and the parents and parents. In the name of spouse, let that be unity. Let that be unity, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let that wicked spirit that be released to cause pain, to cause you know destruction in our society. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. We we'll pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Very, very important. Very important. Let us continue to pray that prayer wherever you are, wherever you go. In the name of Jesus, because when you keep praying that prayer, even when the when the enemy want to cause some problem or some wicked, uh, uh, you know, spouse, other husband or wife, who is deeply into wicked God, there are some people who have totally sold their lives to do to wickedness, and therefore instead of instead so instead of uh, the way God can bring unity is to divide, to separate them. And there, so that that party can just have its own, be able to, because when a, 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 a evil wife is staying with with a good man or a good a good woman is staying with evil man, what plays out here is this: the man will be struggling to for progress in his life, but that progress will be already be frustrated because of household wickedness, and that household wife or or, or husband will always. Try to indirectly pretend as if he's encouraging, or try as if he's praying, as if as he's doing good for that spouse. But whereas the main woman who who this is being done against will be seeing that in his in his or her dream that this person who is pretending he doesn't really love you, but he, he will attack you, attacking your dream. He will stop you your dream. He will come and take things away from you in your dreams. Then the real life will be pretending as if he loves you. Let the Lord scatter such kind of relationship. Because some of them, when that begins to happen, that means the other party has gone deep and established a wicked program against you in the spiritual realm. 
If you don't, <laughs> if God don't scatter that relationship, before one is happening, that man or that woman will die seriously. Or the destiny of that person will be wasted. And it takes, it takes, <laughs> it takes, it takes a special grace. That happens one in a million for such person to come out from it. From the grip of that wicked, you know, you know, wicked, wicked husband or wife. Hallelujah. May God have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. Because when that begins to happen with you, either you're in a relationship, either in marriage, or, 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 or and then the, the, the person supposed to be your husband or wife always appear in your dream, fights you, you know, challenge you, take things, and your spirit is not really agree in the spiritual but Physically, it's like, oh, he loves you more than everything. Oh, he thinks, my brother and sister, be careful and be, pray very hard. So that God will separate you guys. So everyone will go their own way. Or else, you will be destroyed in that relationship. Be God, because some men have been destroyed. But the most funny thing about this whole thing is this. That this person or have been decided to be doing this evil, wickedness. You forget that your child will get married very soon. Or your son will get married. If somebody starts treating your own child that way, you are treating that this person's husband, I mean this person's child. Or that or that, yeah, that person's child. How are you gonna feel? But unfortunately, when that evil spirit has entered, they don't care. It's what they want to do. They have to do they don't care about anything. And that's the reason why the Lord has to separate and have to scatter in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, deliver those men, deliver those women who are in some kind of trap and snare. In the name of Jesus. But unfortunately, a lot of people don't really understand the, the deep things of, of marriage. They've been looking for reconciliation when there is no reconciliation. <clears throat> looking for reconciliation when there is no reconciliation. Re 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 reconciliation. May the Lord scatter in the name of Jesus. When you have lived with a man, as a as a young girl, 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 promise you, I love you, I love you, I love you. They have the the pre, first pregnancy. The man say, oh oh, please, 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 you need to abort it. You need to abort it. Second time to please abort it. I'm already here ready. My sister, carry your things and go. Don't stay. It doesn't matter whatever that person is giving you. It doesn't love you. A true man that loves you. We say no problem. We, let's, any shame, we take it together. We carry it together. The two person. But if you refuse to listen to this instruction I'm giving now, you will live to regret about it. Any man that is telling you or the woman that is encouraging you to do such kind of please run away for your life. He doesn't love you at all. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter whatever they are promising or the thing they say going to do for you in the future. Please carry your thing around. Amen. He said, "19 said, husband, love your wives and and be gentle with them. Children, obey your parents in all things because this pleases the Lord. Father, do not nag your children if you are too hard." If you are too hard to, please, they may want to stop trying. They may want to stop trying. You know, everyone in life needs some level of encouragement. And even though things may not be working, or probably they, they are not smart, or they are not, you know, fast in, 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 in understanding or picking up. You know, in everybody, everybody deserves trial. That is why patience is very, 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 very crucial. We have patience with one another. We have patience. We have patience. Have patience. And they are the patient you have, and that love that you are showing to that person who is a bit weak, can actually, you know, turn things around. Hallelujah. Let always try to put, put, put herself in the, in the shoe 
of those that you feel oh this person is worthless or it doesn't or it's very slow or it, it you know there's some challenges that is happening in their life they just try to put ourselves in their shoe in the name because the lord will always the lord is always happy when he see you and i go extra mile for those who are in need those who are vulnerable go extra mile in the name of jesus because so lord say when you do help those who are in need you are actually doing it for him it doesn't only mean them you know foreigners it's the same thing too with your brother your sister your wife or your husband you know those who have some one of in one or two challenges how they go extra mile for them as you do it to, for them please you are doing it to the lord i'll be shocked what the lord will be able to do in your life hallelujah because there are a lot of benefits to enjoy that you don't even know that is due to your kindness is due to your love hallelujah that you show to those who really need it may god help us in the name of jesus hallelujah say slave obey your master in all things do not obey just when they are watching you to gain their favor but serve them honestly because you respect the lord in all the in all the work you are doing work the best you can work as if you were doing it for the lord not for people remember that you will receive your reward from the lord which he promised to his people you are serving the lord but remember that anyone who does wrong will be punished for that wrong and the lord treats everyone the same the lord treats everyone the same the lord treats us all as you know equal hallelujah i pray may the lord help us in the name of jesus hallelujah this come to the end of our bible study this evening and i pray that the lord in the name of Jehovah, bless us and need us want anything that um, any area that we still need some help regarding to this um, uh, Harlem. This, this Bible study, the Lord Himself will, will throw clarity in the name of the night. Pray that in the, in the area that really matters for your name, matters for your, for your destiny, that the Lord, in the name of Jesus, by His special grace, we give you an encounter tonight that will throw light, that will deliver, that will cause total turnaround in the name of that to remove the, the rooted darkness in your life and let the light of God begin to shine in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. This hour, I want to be to add the Lord. Please, Lord, we need more of your spirits in the name of Jesus. We need your spirit in our lives. In the name of Jesus, your spirit, Lord, we need. Ma kapa yerebo ziriya, ni ma sa yerebo riya. Ni ni more of you, Lord. We need you. We need you. We need you, Lord Jesus. We need you. We need you, Lord. We need you. We need you, Lord Jesus. And they will ask, Lord Jesus, more of your mercy in our life. Let your spirit of mercy, spirit of kindness, spirit of humility, spirit of gentleness, spirit of patience. In the name of Jesus, spirit of forgiveness, forgive one another. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord Jesus, take over us. In the name of Jesus, may we be instrument of peace, instrument of peace, oh Lord. Father, help us, oh Lord Jesus, to begin to tap into that, into that, into that glory, into that virtue, Hallelujah. That lies in, in, in singing song, in singing hymn. No matter whatever situation that we are going through, that our heart will fill with joy, and we will always give you thanks, no matter whatever. In the name of Jesus. God has your word that your joy is what our strength in the name of Jesus. So we always have that strength and the over those situations that comes. We always have that strength to advise and to instruct others. We always have that strength in the name of to be the leg, the, the, the strength, the eyes and the, of, of, of the needies. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you're not giving your life to Jesus Christ, I want you to right now ask the Lord, please forgive me. Please me from all my righteousness. Forgive my sins in the name of Jesus. I give you my life. I give you my everything. Be the Lord of my life from now to the rest of my life. In the name of Jesus. Repeat this word with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you, Lord Jesus. Tonight I confess that you are my Lord and my Savior. How you dying on the cross of Calvary for me. And you rose again to give me life. Tonight I accept you as a person of my Savior. Take charge of everything that concerns me. And let this, and let this mind of Christ. Hallelujah. The minds of Christ, minds of mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, peace. How they are forgiving one another in the name of Jesus. Father God, let this fruit of the Spirit be able to manifest in every area of my life in the name of Jesus. And know, Lord Jesus, let the Lord to natural in the name of Jesus. Even in my dream, in wherever I am, let my heart be glad with songs, with hymns. In the name of with spiritual songs, in the name of Jesus, in the strengthen me, O Lord Jesus, strengthen me, strengthen us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Amen and Amen. We dedicate our lives once again to the name of the, to the Lord, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, we pray, Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, tonight, Lord, for what you've done. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Now let's just quickly go to our confessions. We're very, very important we do that. Psalm 23 for verse 1 to end. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He made me to lie down in great pastures. He laid me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He led me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valleys of shadow of death, I fear no evil. Hallelujah. For you are with me, your rod and your star, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Hallelujah. You are not my head with You are not my head my head with oil, my cup overflow. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And then Psalm 59, verse 1 and 2. Let's say be your name, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Deliver me from my enemies, O oh my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who walk evil and save me from blood testing men. In the name of Jesus. Deliver us from our enemies, O oh our God. Protect us from those who rise up against us. Deliver us from those who walk evil and save us from blood testing men. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Psalm 91, verse 1 to end. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because I dwell in the shelter of the Most High, I bow in the shadow of the Almighty. I say to the Lord, my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Hallelujah. For the Lord will deliver me from the snare of the Father. From the deadly person that see will cover me with his pinion, and under his wings I will find refuge. My faithfulness is the shield and the buckler. I will not fear the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that fly by day, nor the person that stalk in darkness, nor the destruction that waste at one day. In the name of Jesus. A thousand may fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, but you will not come near me. I will only look with my eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. In the name of Jesus. Because I have made the Lord my dwelling place, the most high who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed before me. No plague will come near my tent. In the name of Jesus. For the Lord has commanded his angel concerning me to guide me in all my ways. On their hand to bear me up. I will not strike my foot against stone. In the name of Jesus. I will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent I will strip on their foot. In the name of Jesus. Because I hold fast to God in love. In the name of Jesus. And the Lord will deliver me. The Lord will protect me. Because he knows my name. When I call upon the name of the Lord. He will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will rescue me and honor me. He will long life as I come and show me salvation. In every area of my life. In the name of Jesus I pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 120, 144 from my son to end. Thank you, Jesus. 
Bless me, the Lord, my rock who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. He is my steadfast love and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge. Those of these people under me, my co they are here. Oh Lord, what is a man that you regard him? Or a son of man that you think of him? Man is like a breath, his days like a passing shadow. Bow your heavens, O oh Lord, and come down. Turn the mouth and so the smoke. Let for the lightning and scatter them. Send out your arrow and read them. Stretch out your hand from on high. My son, rescue me and deliver me from the hands of the foreigners. Hallelujah. From whose mouth speaks lies. And whose right hand is right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song to you, O God, upon a ten string harp. My cup I will play to you who gives victory to kings, who rescued David the servant from a cruel sword. Rescue me in the name of Jesus. From the hands of the foreigners, those man speaks lies, and those right hand right of falsehood. In the name of Jesus, may our sons in the name of Jesus in their youth be like plant full grown. Our daughters like a corner queen and call for a structure of a palace. In the name of Jesus, may our granary be food. In the name of Jesus, providing all kinds of produce. May our sheep bring four thousand and ten thousand in our field. In the name of Jesus, may our cattle be heavy with young, suffering no mishap or failure in bearing. In the name of Jesus. May there be no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed are the people to whom so bless and fall. Blessed are the people who God, whose God is the Lord. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. The last scripture for now. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 1 to 4, 4 from my son to end. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, I counsel. Whatever that is all about. In Jesus' name, I pray. My son, Neba, make a power with you. Hallelujah. Psalm 1 to 4. If the law, if it had not been the law who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it have not been the Lord who was on our side. When people rose up against us, they would have swallowed us up our life. When the anger was kindled against us, then the flow would have swept us away. The torrent would have, come, would have gone over us. Then over us would have gone the raging waters. The blessed be the Lord who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken. We have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. In the name of Jesus. Daddy, we thank you, Lord, tonight for answering our prayers. Glory be to your holy name, Lord Jesus, for all that you have done. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. And I pray what the Lord has done in our life tonight will forever be permanent. In the name of Jesus, we continue to grow from glory to glory, from victory to victory, from triumph to triumph. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. I will pray for those who are sick, from the crown of your head to the of it. Be healed in the name of Jesus. You sickness, you negative dream. You emotional trauma, the blood of Jesus against you will destroy your foundation in the name of Jesus. Be healed from the crown of your head to save your feet. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And tonight we declare and declare, may the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile at you or at you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Have a very wonderful night rest in the name of Jesus. And I pray that God of heaven will fight your secret battles and give you peace in every areas of your lives in the name of Jesus. Be encouraged in the name of Jesus. And I pray that God of heaven will do beyond your expectation in every areas of your life in the name of Jesus. 
and love you all and have a very wonderful night rest. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Love you all and have a very good night. Shalom to you all.